Release conditions can help you create a more adaptive learning environment for your students. In this example, we are going to set up a release condition on our content that requires students to complete the course syllabus quiz before they can continue with the remaining modules in the course. This is a great option to encourage your students to review the course syllabus before continuing on with the first module of content. To do this, we're going to click on Course Content at the top of our course, and then click on Module 1 from the Table of Content. Module 1 is the first module that we want to hide until our students meet this condition. Once we click on Module 1, I'm going to click on Add Dates and Restrictions under the Module 1 title, and then click on Create under Release Conditions. From the Select Condition Type, I'm going to choose Score on a Quiz. Notice that there are lots of other release condition types that you can choose from in this area. Under Quiz, I'm going to check the Course Syllabus Quiz. And under Criteria, I want to make sure my students get exactly a 100%, so I'm going to set this to equal to 100%, and then click on Create. Once I make sure my condition's what I intended, I'm just going to click on Update to save that condition on my module. Now I can edit or delete this condition in the future if I need by clicking on the condition again, and then clicking the X next to the condition to remove it. These steps will place the condition on the module itself. If you have discussions, quizzes, or drop boxes within the module, you will want to place the condition on those as well. Otherwise, students will be able to access these items from the submission review area in your course. In the case of Module 1, I have a discussion and a quiz. I'm going to click the down arrow next to Week 1 Discussion and then click on Edit Properties in Place. And then again, I'm going to click on Add Dates and Restrictions. Now I've already created my restriction it's right here on Module 1. So instead of hitting Create, I'm going to click on Browse. Under Browse, I see my condition. I can check the box next to that condition, click Attach. My condition shows, and I can click on Update. And now my condition is on Week 1 Discussion as well. I'm going to repeat that step for Week 2 Quiz. I would then continue this with Module 2. So I'm going to click on Module 2 from the Table of Content, click on Add Dates and Restrictions, Browse. Again, my condition already exists after I create it the first time, so I don't need to create it each time, I just need to browse and select it. Update. And in this case I have another discussion, so I'm going to Edit Properties in Place, Add Dates and Restrictions, Browse. Date and a quiz. Now the good thing about release conditions is that when you copy the course over for your next semester once you set these up, the conditions will copy with the course. So you should only have to do this the first semester unless you make any changes to the content or the navigational flow of the course. The conditions will uh, copy with you each term when you copy them course to course. You would just repeat those steps for all of the modules in your course that you want impacted by this particular release condition.